Hello, I'm Alec Bath, Applications Manager for ST's Wireless Microcontrollers in the Americas. In this multi-part video series, my team and I are going to get you started developing with the multi-protocol dual-core STM32WB wireless microcontroller. To get started, we'll walk you through our relevant website pages at ST.com. We'll point you where to download ST's Q-based ecosystem tools, user manuals, firmware and examples, and lots of other great resources such as application notes covering everything from RF design to protocol stacks. You may also wish to hit up your favorite distributor for this two-board Nucleo pack with everything you need to run the hundreds of firmware examples we offer. You can also buy it directly at ST.com. It's less than $50. Add a micro USB cable and you're ready to go. Next up, we'll give you pointers on tools installation. Now, you may already be familiar with many of these tools, as many of them already support our 1600 plus STM32 part types. But there's a few new tools and features specific to the WB's wireless capabilities we'll cover. Now, the first question you'll have to ask yourself is, what is my C compiler tool chain of choice? If you're already developing the recent version of IAR or Kyle, you may want to just stick with that for coding on the WB. A third option is ST's Cube IDE development environment, based on the Eclipse framework, GCC toolchain, and GDB debugger. The next tool to install is CubeMX, the super popular configuration and code generation utility. Other useful tools we recommend are the Cube Monitor RF wireless testing tool and Cube Monitor Power for real time current measurement. Great for your next battery powered application. We'll cover all the details on these powerful free tools in follow on videos. Next, we'll dig into the CubeWB firmware library. We'll show you where to find your first Hello World project, the Bluetooth Low Energy Heart Rate Monitor, how the BLE, Zigbee, Thread, and 802.15.4 projects are structured, and lots more. We'll also introduce you to the multi-role capabilities of the WB, over-the-air firmware updates, and using all of the WB's great standard MCU peripherals. Finally, we'll deep dive into a new feature for installing encrypted stacks with the Cube Programmer, calibrating your external crystal, and in upcoming videos, we'll dig even deeper into all of these great 2.4 GHz wireless protocols. So enjoy, and we'll talk again soon.